Good day. If I had asked you what's the best CS program in the country for engineering, you probably will tell me IIT Bombay. But if I had asked you what's the best CS program with research in the country, you'd probably tell me it's Triple IIT Hyderabad. Now, Triple IIT Hyderabad, among our students at CFL, is one of the favorite college to go into if they want research and if they want computer science. Now, today with us, we have the All India Rank One in the UGE exam, Yashashwini. And it's an honor for us for two reasons. First of all, it's an All India Rank One. Secondly, it's a woman who's topped it, and that's a CFL student. So, congratulations to you. And I'm super impressed that you've got to it. Uh, short story, background story, Yashashwini was from Kasargod, who was almost a topper there. And without much effort, she was always a brilliant student. But somehow, when she was asked which college to get into, she had chosen CFL. So, Yashashwini, please tell us your story from Kasargod all the way to Mangalore. Till 10th standard in Kasargod, I went to the school that was nearest to my home. It was a government aided school. And then I had qualified in NTSC stage one. I knew about CFL, but I wasn't sure if I could come to CFL. Then one day, my uh, father, another parent of a student in CFL, he told my dad that, oh, your daughter has got, uh, your daughter has qualified in NTSC stage, and she, she shouldn't go to CFL. So my dad made me to CFL. Yeah. And it was amazing, right? Like, uh, generally, the students who do well in, uh, in the J advanced uh, IT exams or the NEET exams come from a lot of preparation in high school. Now, when Yashishwini joined uh, CFL, she's coming from a government-aided school, okay, which she went to a school by close by. And then she comes here and she's pretty much into, you know, she joins late. So she's behind everybody. In a, just a matter of six months, you know, her hard work, of course, uh, you know, her commitment, she moves us to among the top 30 students in the group. Now, your dad is a Purohat. Your mom, everybody relocated to Mangalore mm. to support you. Tell the role your parents played in you coming all the way from Kasago to Mangalore and now to be a All India Rank 1. Uh, my parents only moved to Mangalore in the end of second year. Okay. In December, after all the classes were done and okay. I was preparing for JE. And I think my, uh, my dad uh, he's really talented, but he didn't get an opportunity to uh, pursue his uh, pursue what what he wanted to learn because he had to take the responsibility of his family, yes. uh, of his family's tradition yes. to be a Purohit. And he could have been a great person he, if he had uh, learned like engineering or if he had pursued science or something. So it's wonderful to for him, you know, to have his daughters and to give his daughters that opportunity, mm -hmm. right? He want, and I'm sure he's super delighted today mm -hmm. to see that his daughters have achieved it. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the UG exam, uh, which is a five-year dual degree program, is very different from the other exams out there, like the JE exam or the NEET exams. So, just going to tell us how this exam is different. In UG, there is there are two parts: subject proficiency test and research aptitude test. And this year, only the marks of research aptitude test was considered for ranking. And then the subject proficiency test was uh, to uh, uh, to get a cut off for students to, sell, uh, to to get selected for the interviews. And for ranking, both the marks from research aptitude test and interviews were considered. So, uh, this is the difference, right? When it comes to repetitive exams, uh, like the JE uh, or the JE Advance, they're one of the hardest exams on the planet. But they don't gauge the overall aptitude of the student. Uh, while I, uh, these exams, uh, with an interview, are able to gauge the students much better. Now, why a dual degree program for you? I really wasn't aiming for this college or this exam, I just wrote it and I got this rank. Okay. So, uh, Yashishwini has given all the exams, right? You've given the J mains, mm -hmm. you've done well. Even the J advanced, you've done well. And now this exam, as the topper of the country, all in the rank one, and into a uh, 
IIT Hyderabad has got even limited seats into that program, much harder than most of the colleges on the country. How does it feel, Ashishwani? I don't feel any different from what I was before. I always knew that I had this ability, but I wasn't able to prove it till now. Um, and I, I just learn in class. I don't learn at home. I can't study from books. And I, so that is, because of that, I really lagged in practice. So I couldn't do as well in exams yeah. like JE. But for this, uh, in the UG's research aptitude test, the, the, those, those kind of questions don't need much practice. It's, yeah. So I, I, was able, I was able to do well in that. Yashashwini uh, like, you know, is a brilliant student, right? And as a country, if, as we progress, and if a lot of patents have to come to this country, we need people going to research. And it's absolute pleasure when we at CFL see students who are brilliant, wanting to do uh, research for the country, wanting to develop the country. Uh, and Yashishwini, the path that you've chosen, even though you could go to any engineering programs across the country, to choosing a research program, you know, it's fantastic. So, uh, what is your message to the juniors out there? Don't just say J -E and become an engineer because you want to earn money. If you like science, learn it. If you enjoy learning, you should continue learning. I don't know how to say it, but I, would, I don't know how to say it better than what you did. Uh, but my congratulations uh, to you, Yashishwani. Uh, and to the youth students as well. When people break records, uh, when you break in a record for people from Mangalore reaching an all India rank one, it's an inspiration for the students who are listening to this and the parents who are listening to this to say that our children too can break those benchmarks. Our children too can achieve those results. So it's so to you, students and parents listening to this, let Ashashwini be an inspiration and say we will achieve something or even better than what Ashashwini did. Congratulations, Ashashwini. Thank you very much.